Hey there, Jason from Middle Age Gear Junkie here. Uh, I thought today I'd do a short instructional video on how to break your strings in once you've restrung a guitar. Now I've just restrung this uh, Court uh, M600 PRS type copy guitar a couple of minutes ago, but I haven't broken the strings in, I haven't even tuned it up yet. So first thing I would do is I would take, say, the, the low E string, and I'm just going to tune it to E flat. about there. It's pretty close. Alright, so once I've tuned it to E flat, I'm now going to pull upwards like this. And I'm going to go along the string all the way to the nut, which you can't see on the camera, and back again. And I'm supporting it with both thumbs, lifting it straight up, and I'm not going side to side. Now when I pluck this string again, you're going to hear it's going to be quite out of tune. Alright, so it's about one and a half tones down. Now I'm going to do it a second time. And what you'll notice is the second time I do it is that it should be less out of tune than it was before, maybe half a tone. Hear that? It was hardly out of tune there. And by about the third time you do it, it should barely go out of tune at all. Cool, and that's it. So I'm going to do that with every string. Now, um, when you're using the the lowest, sorry, the higher strings, you don't have to do it as much as you do on the lower strings because you've got to really stretch them out. Now, if you don't do this sort of thing after restringing guitar, you're probably going to have a lot of tuning issues. You're probably going to have a lot of tuning issues moving forward. Um, so it's always really important to do this straight after you've restrung your guitar. Now don't be afraid of busting the string, okay? Um, there's two things. Don't try doing this with old strings because they, be, they do become brittle and you're more likely to actually bust one and maybe hurt yourself. So what you need to do is do it straight after you've restrung the guitar. And the other thing is don't wiggle side to side like that, okay? Because you're going to weaken you're going to weaken the, um, the string right there in the saddle and you're more likely to cause breakage because of that. So just pull it straight up. Okay, now I'm doing the D string. Apologies if the camera angle looks a bit funny. I can't really see it from where I'm sitting at the moment. Um, I suppose the one bonus for you guys is you can't see my head, that's probably a good thing. If you hear any sirens in the background, it's because uh, just down the road, just down the road uh, there's some pretty bad fires. So there's uh, fire trucks and helicopters going past all the time. I live fairly close to a, a, like a country airfield, so there's always helicopters taking off and dumping water on the fire. Yeah, it's pretty sad, uh, about 20 properties were lost yesterday, uh, not far from here. It's pretty scary, I mean it's only, it's only early October and, uh, yesterday and the day before it hit 40 degrees out here, so uh, that's, you'd expect to get that kind of weather in summer. <laughs> Sounds like this top E string here is um, going a fair bit out of tune after doing this. 
been a bit problematic. It could be the way that I restrung it. I might have left it too much slack up uh, on the tuning peg. Whoa, it's slipping. That's better. All right, so. That's okay. I had to restring this guitar because I want to do a sequel to my chord porn video, which I'm going to use this guitar for. So, um, yeah. Quite often what I do is uh, I don't, once I restring a guitar, I don't actually use it. I always restring it the day before I'm going to use it um, so that it gives it sort of overnight. I, it might go out of tune a little bit overnight, but once I retune it the next day, it'll probably stay in tune pretty well after that. So that's how you're breaking your strings. Really important to do it. Make sure that uh, you give this video a like and, and subscribe if you find this uh, really helpful. Thanks.